welcome to another Messy Church to Science video with me, Dr. Dave. It's a bit of a different video today, not in the kitchen doing a hands-on experiment, not in the garden exploring the wonder of creation outside. I'm here in Marfa. It's because I want to tell you about an exciting new part of the Messy Church to Science family of activities uh, that we're launching soon. It's called Mess AI Church. Do you get it? Mess AI Church. It's all about discovering who are the robots and what are we. Now, uh, let me introduce you to one of the robots I've got in my house. This is uh, this is one of my robots. Uh, well, actually, I haven't got that many robots, but uh, this is a robot. I've had this robot since I was about five years old, probably a bit younger than that. So it's over 50 years old and it's made of metal and tin and it still goes. I'll show you. Hang on. Let me see if I can wind it up. It's clockwork. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit stiff and slow, and it needs a bit of a kickstart these days. Oh dear! I have to do that. Turn it a little bit like that. See the cogs go round and the feet uh, move a little bit, but uh, it's not in the best of condition, I'm afraid. But oh, there it goes. It's doing okay for 50 years old. I'm going to put that down, and hopefully, it doesn't disturb the rest of the tour. <laughs> So Mess AI Church is uh, a way for us to try and engage some of the uh, families with some older children who come along to Messy Church. It's aimed at uh, children who are about age 9, 10, up to the age of 13. And it's, uh, it's an activity that's themed around robots and artificial intelligence. Um, it's a bit different to the normal science experiments we do in Messy Church. It's a whole day family workshop. Uh, that we've developed at Croxley Green Baptist Church, the church where I'm a minister at, uh, but also with the help of our friends at Scientist in Congregations who've given us uh, grants to develop the Messy Church to Science material uh, a few years ago. It's based around the, the themes of uh, hospitality, creativity and celebration with a focus upon Jesus that uh, of course our understanding of Messy Church. And uh, here's a picture of one of the workshops we ran uh, towards the end of 2019 to try out this material and this idea. It's a workshop that uh, we were able to invite four families to, some families from the church, some families from the community who've been coming along to Messy Church, and actually in the three workshops we ran um, over a period of about four months, uh, we had families from the community who had never been to our messy church or our church before. Uh, they came through contacts we had in the schools. We also had people who weren't from a Christian heritage community. They came from all kinds of different faith communities or no faith at all. But there was something about bringing them together for the day to work together to achieve a goal that they wanted to take part in. It's exploring our creativity as human beings. It's based around uh, a Lego robot, Lego Mindstorms EV3, which is often used in schools to teach programming and to explore science and technology and engineering. This is uh, our robot that uh, we've made. This is the basic version. Of course, when the, the families at the start of the day build their own robot, we encourage them to uh, bling them up a bit with a bit of extra parts and even to give them names. And actually, as they go through the day, every time they achieve uh, an activity, uh, they get a point. So uh, one team, one family gets extra points for the best name or the best blinging of a, a robot. These robots look quite similar to uh, some of the robots you see in the world. Here's the latest uh, American NASA robot that has just landed on Mars together. If you can see in the background, the little helicopter that it has with it. This is called the Perseverance rover. And our uh, Endeavour, Lego Endeavour robots are very, very similar uh, to this. It has sensors uh, to uh, to locate its position. It also has a colour sensor so it can, uh, can identify the colour of different objects that we put in front of it, which make it go and make it stop. And we get the families to to build uh, the robot. We get them to we learn teach them how to program the robot and control the robot. For a bit of fun as well, we have a conversation with uh, something which you might have in your home. This is my Amazon Alexa 
uh, app. I've got a couple of these around my home. This is an example of how artificial intelligence is, is coming into our world. And throughout the day, we're talking about some of the science behind robots and artificial intelligence. Have a conversation with Alexa if you've got one at home or Google Doc. Uh, just see what uh, it knows. Ask it if it can be your friend or ask it what its favourite colour is. Uh, you ask it if it will sing you a song. You might be surprised. So we're exploring through these activities as we come together some of the big thinking around robots. But as in all of our Messy Church activities, we want to explore some of the big questions that uh, robots and AI bring up. Questions which relate to who we are as humans and our relationship with God. So we ask questions like, uh, if God makes us and we make robots, does that make us like God? Or can a robot be your friend? What about God? Can God be your friend? And if the robot goes wrong, do you get cross? Do you need to say sorry to the robot? Or do you need to say sorry to God? Some of those uh, big questions have been really interesting to uh, listen to the families as they discuss them together. And we found the children often took a lead in that, but the adults joined in. And it was great to see discussion and debate between the family groups, actually, around the room as we went through the day. Of course, we end the day uh, with a celebration. And through the uh, afternoon, we're helping the families to write a program for their robots that it will navigate a maze that we give them. It's a very simple maze uh, and the robot can identify different colours, blue and green, and uh, it knows when to start and when to stop and when to change direction. We're training the families up how to program the robot. Now, that can seem really complicated, but actually all of our families, and we have 12 families, go through this uh, pilot activities, manage to program the robot to solve the maze in some way or form. And towards the end of the afternoon, we have a bit of a competition to see who can go from the red square to the green square in the quickest time. And of course, you get points for that. And you know what, you know what they say, points mean prizes. At the end of the day, the team, the family team with the most points get a little prize. And one of the most great, wonderful things to see at the end of the day was the family who won the prize going round the tables and just sharing the sweets that they'd won that day with all the other families there. Part of the hospitality that had been developed through the day by bringing people together and sharing with them through the day. The resource is gonna be released soon on the Messy Church website. And uh, this is the uh, web address that you can go to and download this resource. Um, also, uh, you'll need to get hold of and download a program that uh, to do the final celebration part of the day that you can download onto your robot. For more information, you can contact me and my Messy Church uh, address, dave.gregory at messychurch.org.uk. And I'm gonna leave you today with a video of our final celebration where we gather the families round one of the mazes and we put the robot on it and using the program that you can download uh, from the website um, we uh, listen to psalm 25 a psalm about the paths god leads us on and we watch the robot as we listen to that psalm read and then we put the robot back to the beginning and it remembers the path that it has taken and it moves through the maze all on its own and we think about the paths that God is leading us on in our lives. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us again for another Messy Church to Science video sometime when we explore the wonder of creation and the wonder of the Creator. God bless. Listen to the words of Psalm 25 as we watch the robot explore the paths of the maze. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. Show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. 
guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God my saviour and my hope is in you all day long remember Lord your great mercy and love for they are from of old guide me in the right way and teach me all the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful he will instruct you in the ways you should choose and now as we watch the robot follow the path it's discovered we think about the paths that we have traveled the people who've led you on good ways of life and have been a good example to you how God has shown his love and care for you and as we remember we say thank you and we ask God to lead us on good paths.